Hey guys, how's it going? Electron Man, hope you're doing good out there today. Well, we're going to uh, attempt to do a uh, iPhone 6S battery replacement today. I guess I need to probably turn the uh, phone off. I'm going to turn the phone off. Um, yeah, I don't know if you remember, uh, during the storm I uh, broke my Galaxy 10 Plus. So I'm back on the old iPhone that I had before that. Um, I don't know how relevant that is these days because uh, it's a pretty old phone, but I'm going to do a battery exchange, so I figured I'd go ahead and uh, at least document it and uh, video it. Um, I bought this little kit off of Amazon. I'll provide the link for it. Uh, it was under $20. I don't want to put a lot of money in this phone, but it is still a good phone. I mean, I'm obviously using it right now, but the only thing is it's set around for a couple of years, not charged, and uh, it just doesn't hold a charge anymore. And actually, this kit here actually gives you an up graded battery it's actually a little bigger than what it originally had so not only will I get a fresh battery but I'll get one that should last a little longer we'll run this phone for a while till I want to buck up the money and buy a new one which that might be a little while I'm telling you but anyway let's go ahead and open this up I showed you a little kit and it, it's a full kit here it comes with everything it comes with the strips to re reattach the battery the back to the, the glue strips here's the battery it's pretty uh, simple, generic. I'm sure that needs to come off of there. So there's your battery. And then uh, it comes with all the screwdrivers, everything you need. Now, typically what I will do, and I'll use this as a little tray to make sure I don't lose these little screws because that's my the biggest risk on these doing these jobs is, is losing the, uh, the screws. It's even got the little thing to get the S the card out wow but you don't really need to do that okay well let's see here first thing we're going to do is it's got two little bitty screws on the bottom that we're going to have to take out so i got to figure out which one of these screwdrivers fits it does it feel like it's that one I mean, them things are little. Okay, it's the orange one that does them. I don't know if you can see these or not. I'll put this a little over there. I sure don't want to lose these screws. But in this particular kit, it will be the orange ones that remove these two screws. Yeah, they're like flea size. Okay, so you want to do that. Now I use, I've got a 3D printer and I always find that on any of these type of pairs that uh, heating the phone up a little bit. I mean, obviously I've got the, I got the flatbed set to like 160 or 70 degrees and I'll just put the phone on there for two or three minutes here and uh, just let it heat up a little bit. It, to me, it just, I find it makes it easier to, uh, to get that glue to come off because that's the only way you can get into this phone is you've got to uh, remove that front screen and there's a it's actually glued on there so we'll just let it sit here for a minute or two okay I'm back I, it's, it's nice and nice and toasty not not like destruction I'm looking at some other videos I know you really want to start from the bottom on this I'm just going to use this little suction cup and basically what you're going to try to do is get underneath the edge here I'm sure not getting any luck so far man I'll tell you what, I'm not I'm not feeling real comfortable with this one. I'm telling you, this is the hardest one I've ever had as far as getting behind it. I finally managed to get behind it, but boy, I'm telling you, it was not the easiest one I've had. But anyway, as you can see now, I'm getting behind it now, so now I can start just working around the edge and gently 
found this other pick I had here that seemed to work a little better, but I'm telling you, it is been a burger bear. It must be because of the age. Yeah, I'm getting it now. But I'm telling you, that was scary. As you can see, I'm starting to get her separated now. But you just slowly but surely I'm going to work around this. You don't probably want to watch me for 15 minutes do this, but I'm slowly but surely going to work around this. Okay, I'm about there. Some serious glue there, folks. Serious glue. I'm not to tear that glue because I'm going to need it back in there. Okay. They don't come with replacements for that. Okay. Okay. And yeah, we don't want to be real careful back here with the. Uh, I sure like to have some new glue here. Okay, now then what we're going to want to do is disconnect these cables that go to the screen. We don't want to bend this phone back any further than I've already got it, so... Uh, I'm not sure what size those are. Doesn't feel right. Okay, so it's a yellow one to get these out. I get the screws. Okay, there's all four of those out. Now then what I want to do is lift this little cover here off. Oops, it looks like I took the screw out. I didn't need to. This screw's one needs to come out. Yep. And that one's longer than the rest. You need to remember that. Then we'll go ahead and use this little tool. Get this little cover off of here. And we can unplug these cables. Get these out of the way. Which one's the screen and the other one's a digitizer. Okay, now that we can go ahead. Oops, got one more. Oh. There's three of them there. Okay. Wow. Well, we got around one piece anyway. I was really beginning to wonder for a minute there. I did not want to break it. I'm sure it's the only phone I got right now. Put that to the side. Put that to the side. And now let's see here. We need to remove. Battery cover screws. It's got its own unique size too. It's kind of in between. Put it there. I 
right there the same. I don't remember that one goes to the outside. And we can remove this little plate. Which it goes this way. And I believe now I can unplug the battery. Like so. Now on these, you see, if you look real close, you'll see there's a couple little... My goodness, my tweezers, 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 where did the tweezers go? They are. Well, you guys can help me with that. Okay, there's these two little... strips here. This is the glue. I pull straight back. As you see, I'm just kind of seeing it broke. They always do. So we'll go caveman. Which I don't really care because I'm not going to keep the battery anyway. So you just kind of have to just manhandle it and get it out of here. Yeah, and that, that pulls in one piece. You might want to dispose of this too because I don't trust it. It's liable to burst in flames. I don't, in fact, I'm going to throw it outside right now. I don't trust it for crap, especially after all that. So, we'll throw it outside there on the concrete. Okay, now then. Now all we got to do is put the new uh, battery in. Which it has these little tabs which I would assume would be best to, let's see, make sure we go, the battery goes like that. So I'll just lay these on the back of here. Oh boy. We get one chance with them. Get them stuck down good. I don't want to pull off on me. Wow. Come on. Me here. Anyway, there we go here. Just got them stuck on the back there. We're just going to drop the battery back in. Like so, that's just to keep it from flopping around. So, there we go. Whew. Battery back in. All we're going to do is plug it back in. Anyway, just get the battery plugged back in there. And then uh, we'll go to assemble it back. Okay, what I do is I go ahead and plug it all in, which I just did. I plugged them all in, which it wasn't going to do any good to record that because you couldn't see it anyway. Make sure it powers up just to make sure I got everything plugged in good, which appears I do. I got an Apple symbol coming here. Make sure she comes up and then we'll go from there. And there we go. Yeah, we're working. Okay, so now then, I gotta just put all the pieces back together, which is the little cover back here and the little cover on the battery. Which I think I'll go ahead and turn her off. For that. Okay. But we know we're good, so this cover back on Take 
Okay guys, we got her all screwed back together now. We'll give it a good view there. You gotta take the two screws out there, the four screws around here, I took the next one, I got it back in there. Snap the battery in there, snap that in there. Put the adhesive back down. Uh, I've already powered it up to make sure it's still functioning. Go ahead and close the lid on it. With the new battery. Hooks on the top first, so there we go, there we go. We sit in there good in there. And I believe we got her. That's pretty stressful, guys, to be perfectly honest with you. More than I want it to be. Uh, but all I got left to do is put those two screws on the back side there. Well, uh, last thing to check, which I probably should have checked that before I put it on her and make sure she still charges. Yeah, she does. done guys it's probably not as water this was the eyepiece or the iPhone 6s wasn't guaranteed water resist or watertight anyway but I probably didn't help it any by having to separate it but as you can see you can never tell that I ever took it apart amazingly it's done. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. I don't know. I'll try to edit it out where it makes some sense. Uh, between all my huffing and puffing and stressing on it. But the kit did work. It appears everything is, is correct now. And I got to have battery, better battery life than I did because the other one sucked. I mean, it was good for about a half a day. So I'm sure we improved it quite drastically. And it's like 3,300 milliamps. So I think it'll actually even be better. But anyway. There you go, guys. That's how to change the battery on an iPhone 6S. There's probably better videos out there, but hey, you got to watch me do it. And it, and I did it. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that bell so you know when the next cool video is coming out. And always, have a great day.